shielding effect as the name indicates here shielding shielding is something that is used to shield the effect of another thing say for example here we have a room inside the room we have a person outside the room we have sun now this person inside the room is shielded by the sun rays just because of the walls of the room now the walls of the room are acting as a shield here so what does that mean that the walls of the room are creating a shielding effect in the case of atom same happens we know the nucleus have a positive charge because the nucleus have protons and the neutrons protons have a positive charge and neutrons have no charge overall the nucleus have a positive charge and these electrons have a negative charge this positive charge attract these negative charge towards themselves so they are creating an attraction and this attraction is called as the nuclear attraction now this nucleus is attracting the electrons towards itself now these inner electron will act as a shield for these outer electrons so the nuclear attraction for these outer electron is less as compared to these inner electrons and this is called as shielding effect that these inner electrons are shielding the nuclear attraction for these outer electrons what is a shielding effect as we discussed earlier the reduction in the force of attraction between nucleus and the valence electrons the outermost electrons by the electrons which are present in the inner subshells is called as the shielding effect moreover electrons in the first and second shell are called as the core electrons and the electrons that are present in the last shell are called as the outermost electrons or the valence electrons now explanation of shielding effect with respect to coulomb's law as we all know that the close two charges are the stronger the force between them here according to coulomb's law positive charge and negative charge these both charges attract each other positive and positive negative and negative these charges repel each other here let me clear this with the help of an example here i have a north pole of a magnet and here i have a south pole of a magnet we know that the north pole and south pole of the magnet they attract each other if they are at this distance they have more attraction as compared if i am going to put them at this distance now the north and the south pole of the magnet will have less attraction as compared to this distance same happen in the positive and negative charges if the positive and negative charges they are near to each other they have attraction they are facing more attraction as compared to the electrons and protons which are far away from each other because now they are at a distance and due to this distance they are facing less attraction between them so here this is a nucleus with a positive charge and these all are the electrons with the negative charges now the distance between this nucleus and this inner electron is less as compared to the distance between this nucleus and this outermost electron so there is more attraction between this nucleus and electron as compared to this positive charge and this negative charge so here the distance is also playing a role and these inner electrons these inner shells act as shield and this is what shielding effect is now shielding effect across the periods we know that all the elements in the periodic tables are arranged in the form of period and group when we move to left to right in a periodic table this is called as a period when we move from up to down in a period this is called as group as you move from left to right in a period the number of electrons in the inner shells remain constant therefore shielding effect remains also constant here what happens that in lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine this neon all have the same number of shells when they have the same number of shells it means that they have the same shielding if they have the same 
shielding for the outer electrons that ultimately means that their shielding effect is constant say for example in carbon nitrogen oxygen and fluorine the number of shells they are same but the atomic number the number of electron is increases here but here we have nothing to do with the number of electrons here we are concerned about the shields here we just have one shield between the outermost electron here again one shield here again one shield here again one shield so here the shielding effect across the period will remain constant because here we just have one shell in between the nucleus and the outermost electrons so this is why whenever we move from left to right in a period always the shielding effect will remain constant yes atomic number will increases number of electron will increases but shielding effect will remain constant having said that shielding effect down the group as you move from top to bottom in a group the number of electronic shells increases so the number of electrons in the inner shell also increases as a result shielding effect will increase here we are talking about a group just take example of first group hydrogen lithium sodium potassium rubidium in all of these number of shells are increasing when the number of shells are increasing it means the shield is increasing when the shield is increasing it means ultimately the shielding effect is increasing say for example in hydrogen we only have one shell in lithium we have two shells in sodium we have three shells in potassium we have four number of shells now have a look at all these elements all these elements are increasing in number of their shells the number of shells are increasing it means the number of shields are increasing once the number of shields are increasing it means the shielding effect is increasing in every group of the periodic table the shielding effect will increase because the number of shells are increasing having said that if you need to identify the element whose atoms have greater shielding effect using the periodic table then how you can solve this query here you can see we have beryllium and magnesium we need to find out which one has more shielding effect for this we can consult from the periodic table here we have beryllium and here we have magnesium the atomic number of beryllium is 4 and the atomic number of magnesium is 12 it's very clear that in beryllium we have two electrons here and two electrons here and in case of magnesium we have two electrons here eight electrons in the second shell two electrons here in the outermost shell now as you can see here the nuclear attraction towards the outermost electron is less as compared to the nuclear attraction towards the outermost shell of magnesium because here we have more number of shells we have more shields for the outermost shell now these shells are shielding the nuclear attraction towards this outermost shell so in this way magnesium have greater shielding effect as compared to this beryllium so yes this is all about our today's lesson if you want more such videos please don't forget to subscribe thank you very much